Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, uh, as you probably gathered from the title and the thumbnail, I have been waiting a long time to make this video. We are going to be setting up my pixie frogs enclosure. I've been wanting a pixie frog for a very long time. I just haven't gotten around to setting up an enclosure and I was like, that would be a really fun project on the pet channel because it is kind of a specific enclosure. They need some different things. So I'm going to make this enclosure half aquatic and half, um, I forget the actual word. What is that, terrestrial? One of you know, I I'm drawing a blank, but there's gonna be a little filtration system in there and everything. I forgot I put Lucy, Lucy outside in the enclosure. She's out there just sunbathing. Little fun fact, when I was actually a little kid, I used to um, collect like frog stuff like anything frog. I had like frog candles and frog like magnets and everything and I was obsessed with frogs and I had a really traumatic thing happen when I had a frog that I had grown from a tadpole and um, we won't show that story here because it still makes me feel really bad but I didn't know what I was doing. He passed away. So now I feel like I need to make this enclosure just like absolutely amazing. So I have pretty much pulled out all the stops. I've gotten all of the fun stuff. And obviously when you get an enclosure, like you come across new things and you add things, so there's space for that too. But I did get the basics and like some really cool stuff to make it look really dope. So I had um, an actual plexiglass piece cut the exact size that I need it for the enclosure and then I got aquatic safe silicone and we're gonna go to town on this tank um, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make one side aquatic and one side dirt and sphagnum moss and all that I'll show you how I put together my pixie frog enclosure and this is probably a good enclosure for almost any frog not all frogs um, are the same some like to be in trees pixie frogs they stick with their they, they stick themselves down in the dirt with their eyes sticking out and they let their prey come to them and then they just eat them. So they don't need a giant enclosure. I was reading that you could even have a way smaller one, but they do grow to quite a large size. So I just felt that my frog should have the best of the best and have the coolest enclosure that was part aquatic. Some people just put like a little bowl in there, but I don't think that's quite big enough. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Oh wait, also, if you guys wanna see a video of me putting the, actually I have the name already for um, my pixie frog and everything, I will share that with you when we unbox the frog, um, but yeah, if you guys wanna see a video of him going into his enclosure and exploring and stuff, leave a comment down below, thumbs up this video, and um, I will make it happen for you. All right, so here is the enclosure that I purchased. I don't have any of the original packaging, so offhand, I don't know what size this is, but I will have Kelvin put pop-ups on the screen of how much everything is and the sizes of everything. I, um, this tank was around $230. It's a Exoterra tank. I really liked this one because you have this much space for water and then dirt on this side. And this was the plexiglass piece that I had cut. I wish it was, actually, it's like a lot less bendy than I thought it was. I'm probably gonna put it about here or so. I wanna say this was around $30. Um, this is a filtration system. So the other pieces that are right here, and then I was just putting this in here to see exactly where, like how big the water space I wanted, um, because these frogs get really, really large. Uh, like giant, I'll show you on screen right now. And they need lots of space. Eventually I'll have to upgrade, but this will do for a very long time. I did get some rocks to go down here once we get the water in there, but I got some sphagnum moss for the dirt side. This is the other part of my filter. This is some vines I got off Amazon. I will also link everything below in the description box if you guys wanna check any of it out. This is just a little plant for the dirt side. Here is some, this is leaf litter is what it's called. It is, I believe this is from joshesfrogs.com. This will go in with the dirt as well. We've got some more plants. These actually will have suction cups will stick on the wall. Let me show you the silicone that I got. So this is aquarium safe silicone sealant. You need to get this one, otherwise it will be toxic 
for the animal. So you wanna make sure that you get the one that is aquarium safe. So I took out the background. This is the background for the enclosure and the top so that we could get in there and do the silicone. So I'm gonna do it tilted like this so that I can put some like plants and stuff over onto the dirt. Um, I think I'm probably gonna do this about right there-ish. So I'm gonna take these guys to kind of prop this up where I want it. Don't know a whole lot about this. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna start shooting this. It's coming out, it's coming out! More is more in this situation. Uh, oh, it takes a lot of muscles. I actually use these to stir up my crusted gecko's food. I just wanna make sure that there's no holes. It's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. So, uh, most likely we should do this outside because the fumes will open that window, but it's too damn hot in Carlsbad. So we're gonna leave this for now and then we're gonna come back to it once it's dry and we're gonna put all the stuff inside so I will be in a different outfit. Okay, it has been a couple days and I need to test this out and see before I put the soil in there if this is going to leak and I need to reinforce it or not. So far so good. Okay, so I'm thinking that I do actually need to put the soil in here because the water's gonna be quite heavy on this. And as you can see, it does move a little bit. So with the soil here, it'll help hold this up. So we're gonna check it that way instead. And I also am not keeping it here and filling this up with water would be quite heavy to move. Gonna leave this for now. I just cut this little hole in here. I am hoping I can get this on here. <laughs> there we go. Looking good. This is the, uh, this is bioactive, bio bedding, tropical bioactive substrate that I got from Josh's frogs. It's got like, just like all sorts of stuff in it that's very natural and supposedly bioactive. I am going to put water in this. As you can see in here, I put a uh, heat pad Pixie frogs need about like a high 70s to low 80s. Very nice. Because this isn't quite enough, I'm going to be using this Eco Earth. I'm not putting my frog in here for a little while, so I'm just gonna probably do this every day. I'm probably gonna get them in like three days or so. giant ball. Put this in here. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Baby pixie frogs need places to hide. I've heard people say that older ones and adults don't. My plan with one of these was to like have it stuck here and then go like this so that the frog can get in and out of the water easily. Oh, this is really coming together, guys. It's really looking good. It's alive. I have a little bit of leaf litter. This is very natural. I got this at Home Depot for $5 and a bag that was like half or a quarter of the size was like $14. A little water plant for uh, the little baby pixie frog to sit on top of. Then I got these little rocks too. When I bought these, I thought they were actually this size and then this came and I was like, whoa, 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 y'all sent me the wrong stuff. And then I looked at my receipt and I was like, oh no, you're just an idiot. You just bought the wrong thing. Let's rinse these. Oh. Okay, so I'm filling this up with the clean pebbles and you have to clean these like so many times. What I do is I put another bowl under the colander so you could see what the color of the water was. Ooh, we've got a pretty pink quartzy looking one. Beautimus. I got these guys so that um, the pixie frog when it's a baby can kind of hang out in the water without being in such deep water and actually get up on something. So I'm gonna put these next to that. I got spring water to put in here. Some people say that 
Uh, tap water that's been conditioned with reptile conditioner or and just condition, water conditioner is better. And some people say the spring water is better. I don't really know which how I feel about that yet. So I got spring water because I don't have any water conditioner. Oh yeah. Mmm. Get it. And this is going to be the telltale sign if I uh, did my sealing properly we'll find out. You should technically do it before this is filled up, but since this was such a thin piece of plexiglass, I didn't think that it could stand the weight of the water without the soil here, which is why I waited till now to do it. There is one, well, there's two last steps. One of the last steps is I'm putting this stuff in there. This is duckweed, and apparently it just sits on top of the water so that they can poke their little heads through or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna put this in here. And then the final step is putting my pixie frog in here, but I don't have my pixie frog yet. That will be fun. I'm gonna make probably another video about that. Look how nice that looks. It's so nice. It's so good to have it. I'm excited. I think it looks freaking awesome. I'm actually impressed with myself. Like I, I did it, I made it happen. I like got crazy. I got the freaking plexiglass piece cut. I got the aquatic safe silicone. I got the pump situation. The pump situation is what always scares me about aquatic tanks. Cause like, I don't know anything about setting the pumps up, but I think it turned out great. There you have it. There is the build of my pixie frog. Uh, I want to say vivarium, but there's no live plants in there. Um, cage, tank, whatever. I'm super excited to get my pixie frog and put him into his little enclosure. If you guys wanna see that, leave a comment down below and thumbs this video up if you enjoyed. I will also put the grand total of what this cage build costed right here on the screen so you guys are aware. If you are interested in getting a pixie frog, I just wanna let you guys know that they can live up to like 35 years. So be aware of that. Um, a lot of reptiles and amphibians live a very, very, very long time. So if you're not ready to care for that animal for their entire lifetime, do not get that animal and get something that is a little more fitting for you. So just wanna let you guys know um, that, do your research, everything, and I wanted to put this together before I actually had my pixie frog because it's not fair to the animal to sit in a box. Yeah, we did it, we did it. Oh, by the way, like around this cage build and stuff, the vlog is up on my other channel. So if you wanna watch that, I will leave the link in the description box below, but hope you guys are having an amazing Monday. Let's make this week amazing. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.